Hi, I'm rebooting Talos. Um, and I'm Juliana, by the way. Um, I'm starting right back where we left off from. And um, yeah, uh, so we've been reading some stuff. Um, what I got out of it is we've got an ancient Greek tale uh, about the golden apple. Um, we're talking to someone. Uh, we have correspondence between at least two people, um, someone and their dad and two other people that seem to be working at a research place. Um, and it seems kind of rather grim, uh, the situation, uh, that we've got, uh, cause they're talking about some imminent something or other. So that's just whatever documents are available here. Um, so, all right, let's see. Um, we've opened the file names that are available here. Um, let's run the MLA, the Milton Library Assistant. It's an events interface. All right, done. Uh, loading up from the library system. Done. Initializing plain language interface. Done. Support session open. Hello, guys. How may I help you today? Um, your query list. You will have to be more specific um, than that. I I respond to subject verb object syntax. What is your query? Um, can you help me? Uh, that is what I'm here for. What would you like help with? Um, okay, what was the first word of the last sentence you wrote? I am only able to process and respond to basic subject verb syntax. Okay, so there's nothing. Describe your functions. Um, Milton Library Assistant is designed primarily to sort and classify data in the library archive secondarily. It facilitates user interaction with the library resources via an intuitive human language interface. It is also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. Okay, um, what are these terminals? Terminals provide access to the library resources archive. Library resource archive. Pardon me for adding S's. Um, uh, what is the current status of the library archive? There are s 7 million resources in the archive that take up 5.421275 petabytes of disk space. That's approximately the size of 30 billion photos, 7 million minutes of HD video, the entire internet in 2003. However, the majority of the library's resources are corrupt or invalid. 10.6954 seven five one gigabytes of uncorrupted data are indexed okay so they've lost a lot of data just to corruption Whew. how long has the system been running this has been active for 99 nine or nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine e years that might be broken. Um, how old are the library archives? Uh, the library resource published dates from the 1st of July 1995 through the 27th of June 2030F. So that might be an error as well. What caused the data corruption? Progressive data corruption is inevitable in any system over time. Additionally, large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to a greater than average invalidation. Huh. Uh, forget the library. Can you respond to queries on the outside world? My knowledge is limited to the data in the library archives, but you can ask me about other topics, but my responses may be limited. Who is Elohim? Elohim is the noun for God or gods in the 
modern and ancient Hebrew. That's good to know. What am I? You are logged in with a guest account. Okay. Where am I? You are currently in a support session with the MLA Human Language Interface Module. Your library archive session may be resumed at any time. Okay. Are you able to take offense, you pointless contraption? You cannot insult me. Good to know. So I think that's everything from this computer. Um, terminating session done. Resuming archive session done. List. Searching for locally cached resources. Local 00071. 0701. Lit our uh, arch. That architecture or um or uh archive oh archive uh and then there's ep archive so figure it out email okay so it's literature and then i guess that's electronic something all right so we've done that we've done that we've done that we can exit all right we're going to continue onwards and i'm sorry for taking up five minutes of your time with that but uh we kind of need to figure out where we are and what we're doing so and no 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 qr codes no qr codes All right, so now we've got stuff. So let's just get what we've got and not have to come back as often. My child, you do not need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. Uh, something about the sleeping lion. Oh. Okay. Um. I'm all about like trying to speed this along for us because uh, especially this section because you might have seen this already and I don't want to be wasting your time but I do want to read everything which we didn't do last round so um, and I apologize if my reading is not to par but we're gonna try that anyway um, oh dear Take the jammer. Stop it. Stop it. This trait will serve you well in times to come. Okay, so that's... I think that's everything. All those are cleared. I think those are cleared, so let's see if there's... Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. Okay. Well, I've got all the stuff. You okay. walk now upon the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds 
I made for you. Wow. I'm, I'm just kind of in awe of the, uh, the detail in all of this. Because, wow. You can even see, like, there's, there's text up there. It looks like an S-P-O- T L or a pie or something. Alright. Um E2I. Let's see what we got. Alright. Okay. And that one also requires okay, so there's an A. Okay, so they don't have the box yet. Um so there's like eight gates, six, seven, not an eight. That looks blocked. That has a star on it. There are mysteries in my garden, hidden roads and secret gates. If you dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. What the hell does that mean? Does that mean like I get to open them? Cause that'd be nice. I'd like to open all the blocks. Okay, so this is A. Apparently, Temple is A. And we're locked in. Um, okay, so we're done with one, so we can just mosey. So I'm gonna go to two. Let's just do this in order. And. Ooh, pretty. Like, holy crap. I. Like, that's awesome. Like, cheapest. Like, the amount of time that went into making this is amazing. Just throwing that out there. Alright, so. Let this be our covenant. These worlds are yours, and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. But the Great Tower, there you may not go. For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. Okay, because that's going to make me not want to go to the tower. Like, really? Like, hey, you can do everything you want in the world except this one thing. Because that's gone so well in classical literature. Um, human loading, uh, loading library session failed. Uh, mounting disk failed. Unrecognized error detected. Guest at unknown list. Library Archive is currently unavailable while system resources are redirected to handle incoming network messages. Use the Access COM Portal command to access network functions. Connecting network drives, error, network inaccessible, encountered unknown errors. Run MLA Troubleshooter. Loading Milton Library Assistant. Initiating plan language interface. Support session opened. Hello guests, is there something you'd like help with today? Your query? I think you'd like help accessing network functions. The most common cause of network problems is holding insufficient account privileges. Please enter the admin password to authenticate your privileges. Checking password. Admin password incorrect. Try again? Login aborted. Too many failed attempts. Would you like to create a new admin account? In order, in order to prevent unauthorized access to admin controls, please take a moment to pro prove you're not a bot. Locating certification program. Certification program loaded. You will now be asked a series of inputs. To cohere with data protection legislation, you must consent to have your responses used to develop a broad psychometric profile. Raw response data will be deleted immediately. Your profile will only be made available to other administrators. Generating certification part one. Part run ready for user input. Please complete all fields. Please enter quickly and instinctively. Time is a factor in this assessment. Begin certification program. Three, two, one. Question one of four. Two plus two equals. Your input has been accepted. 
What is your subjective reaction to this image? Your input has been accepted. What best describes a person? You're walking through the desert and come across a thirsty traveler. His eyes bulge from slow dehydration. You've, you have water, but you're not sure how far it is to the next oasis. What do you do? Part 1 of 1 of the certification process is now complete. You'll receive a notification when Part 2 has been generated. Press any key to exit. Terminating support session done. Resuming library archive session done. I'll also shut this down and then next time we'll run around and do actual stuff. Okay. And uh, EML. And my f uh, Frank uh, Nagati. Ngati. Um, I really I apologize for butchering names so bad. So bad. So if somebody has better name pronunciation skills than me, please let me know. Um, Miles and Ngati, Dan and Ngati. Um, so it looks like this is a family uh, email. My first day at the Institute for Applied Nomadics. On the way to work, I'm terrified. What if they don't like me? What if they don't like me? What if they're all geniuses and I'm com a complete buffoon? Maybe they were just kidding about letting me work there. Trembling, I walk in, and right at the entrance, there's a life-size poster of Jeff Goldblum. What the hell? Then I get it. Ian, Institute for Applied Nomadics. Ian, Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park movies. Jeff Goldblum. Dr. Sarabi shows up, smiling. We're trying to find a cool acronym back when the Institute was founded, she said. Inan, Iapan, Apano. It all sounded stupid, but we didn't want to call it Ian because, well, that's the name. And Someone made a joke about calling it Jeff, and it kind of stuck. So we're officially called Ian, but if you hear anyone referring to Jeff, that's our internal name, I guess. I know, I know. Bloody geeks. After that conversation, I wasn't so scared anymore. Um, AthenaAnalysis.html User Alex16 added four notes. Note 1. Novel's first sentence, she woke up on an impossible place, knowing nothing, signifies more than the beginning of another am amnesia-based mystery, though we should not go as far as to read the entire work as allegory, rather while taking the science fictional novice at the core of the narrative that face value, we should, having no inherent knowledge of the nature of the world, forced to rely on what we are told by others and what our own subjective, flawed, limited senses tell us error and objective reality matter come into conflict. Note 3. When, in Chapter 16, A Second Awakening in the Kingdom of Arden Artemis, the protagonist questions her mentor on the error. Note 4. A more meaningful interpretation can only be achieved through synthesis of end. Interesting, but we will probably come back for that hex there. So, joy. In Athena Analysis and Talus Principle. Text. Archive 260 BCE F12 Stratton of Stagaria. Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze, and had but one vein, within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid causes, caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man? He moved of his own volition, he spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires, indeed in the tale of the Argonauts. That was the cause of his downfall. 
If, then, a machine may have all the properties of a man, and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, when does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics, yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Okay, so I'm going to leave off here. I would love to go running around, but I also value your time, and I appreciate you watching and watch me stumble through reading aloud, but that's totally fine. So thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I will see you in the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let us let me know if I'm doing it wrong in the comments below. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.